Hey, comic family, what's going on, guys? This is Matt, the boy who had seven, and I want to welcome you guys to this epic mystery box uh, unboxing. So, um, if you guys are watching this for the first time, welcome. Um, I know a lot of you are in here, you've been uh, hanging out and tailgating. Appreciate you guys. Um, really quickly, just want to remind you we lost OMG Chris, uh, he graduated on to the next step, and um, it was hard for a lot in the community. We, but everybody came together and did some amazing things for his brother, Sean. Um, the auction that we had, the donations that we had, the books that were given for free and shipped for free, the, the time that you guys spent um, purchasing things, the money that you spent, like everything was just beautiful. And the best part about it was how we kind of came together to support Sean and Chris. And what a experience for me. One of my top favorite experiences I've ever had. Um, so today's uh, video is all about one of the amazing uh, donations uh, by Jack B. So he put together a mystery box and Comic Phantom and I went at it and Comic Phantom beat me. And uh, he got this mystery box all the way up to $1,025, which 100% of those proceeds went to Sean. Oh, my goodness. So way to go, Jack B, for supplying that. I just I'm mind blown that that he could do that for this cause. Um, but he's that kind of guy. And shout out to Comic Phantom for purchasing it and being the amazing guy that he is. So I love these two guys. I'm gonna bring them in now so that we can uh, get this thing started. So hello, Comic Phantom, and hello, Jack B. What's up, my friends? Hey, Matt. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> How are you guys feeling? This is both of your kind of first time on YouTube, isn't it? First time live for me. Yeah, first time live. Yeah, and I've never been on live before. Oh, I'm so nervous. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this, ready. Let's do this. <laughs> that's right. I, I, I bet uh, you've been wanting to do this for a while now, right, Comic Phantom? Oh, absolutely. I've had this now for weeks. And I have the fact I've been able to resist opening it is unbelievable. <laughs> I, I now know of one comic that's in there because I pre-opened the box so that uh -huh. people wouldn't have to sit and wait. So I saw the top comic in one of the boxes. But yeah. other than that, I'm going in just as blind as everybody else. That's awesome. I, I bet you've been holding on to it so long and waiting that Jack B now has forgotten what he put in there. Am I right, Jack? <laughs> I, I think I sent a bunch of um Rainbow Bright and Strawberry Shortcake comics. There you go. <laughs> as many as yeah, I we'll find. talk, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> no, I honestly, I, I remember some of the big ticket items, but um, I honestly do not recall uh, any of the any of the other books. Oh man, this is going to be exciting for all of us then. So let's run through the chat real quick. Say hello to everybody, and then we'll jump into this box because I know it's big and there's a lot of books. But we've got 31 people watching right now, and I want to say hello to everybody. We had Cobra All Comics. Right. He says, first, Justin Rican and his comics, The Comic Don, Steven Spock, Coach Vic 7, Gomez, Man from Beantown, Steve Whiting, Magic Lasso, and Super Rust. They were all hanging out in the back tailgating. Guys, thanks for being here early. It's always exciting when you're putting a video together and you're getting ready to go live, and you see everybody just waiting for it. So thanks for doing that, guys. We appreciate it. And then we've got uh, JP's Budget Collecting. Hello, my friend. Good to see you. Felix Molinado, Unruly Simeon, 1-2 Comic Top. What's up, Kevin? Chris Barrett. He's the man. Steve Whiting, Steven Spock, Comic Mag Musing, The Comic Assassin, Metarog. What's up, Roger? Comic Books NYC. Good to see you, my friend. Oh, yeah. He said he's working, but he's going to be listening. All right, man. Thank you for stopping in. The Comic Collector. What's up, Tim? Man from Beantown, I loved his post today. I was teasing him because he recently got a Journey into Mystery 83 and then he cracked it out of the slab. <laughs> and I was telling him, slab that baby. But he's like, no way. I'm keeping it raw. I've already read it. <laughs> Pretty cool, man from Beantown. Let's see. We've got um, – I don't want to miss anybody. Uh, do, 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 Gomez, Steve, Zach B. What's up, Zach B? Good to see you. AJ, what's going on, AJ? Davis Q. Bolo 368, Comic Don, DJ Sick Rick. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We're excited to see this box. We, of course, want to remember Chris and all that he meant to the community. We want to thank Jack and Comic Phantom for being amazing part of that day. And uh, 
providing and purchasing this box. And so I think that's it. We got everybody. If I missed you, sorry, love you. Matt, could I say could I say something yes. real quick before? Jack, please, my friend. Um, comic Phantom opens. Um, I just wanted to say, and I mentioned this to you that this to you before that um, you know maybe you bought a book, maybe you donated a book, maybe you prayed for Sean, prayed for Chris. You know, nothing I've done here is stands out above and beyond any, what anybody else has done. I just want to make that clear. I, I don't believe that, you know, I have a lot of comics, <laughs> you know, they're just comics. Yeah. I never knew Chris, um, but I was very moved by the outpouring of love and caring. I saw in the community. Yeah. So uh, it moved me to make a donation, but I'm here to tell you that it's no more important, no more um, an act of love than anybody else did. I, lo I love that you say that, man. And, and I, I agree with you. No matter what you did that day to help out, it was all the same. It was all done in love. And uh, I agree with you. But I will say this. This is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. I, I, I can only imagine how Comic Phantom feels, man, wanting to see what he got, you know? But, Jack, thank yeah, you. You're for not that. kidding. Thank you for those words, and thank you for the mystery box. Welcome. So, Comic Phantom, you ready to take yes, it away, sir. man? You want to say anything before you get started? Are you ready to rock and roll? Uh, yeah, I got a couple of things. Um, first of all, I'd like to give a couple of quick shout outs. Um, amongst the stuff that uh, I got from people that I bought that day, I got a couple of really nice notes. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to uh, Doug and Kara. Um, I don't know what your YouTube names are, but... Thank you very much both. I'm very happy with the books I got, but also for the very nice note that you sent along with them. And JoJo, yeah, that's what we're looking at right here. JoJo not only sent me some books, sorry about the lighting, guys, but she also sent me these Hot Wheels that are Batman series. Got the Killer Crocmobile, the Batmobile, the Batcopter, a Gotham... Uh, police department car and the joker mobile and she threw that in with my comics and i just want to say thank you jojo for that as well as the letter she sent me as well it's very appreciative very kind of all of you thank you awesome yeah, and JoJo, now jojo rocks yeah. yeah she certainly didn't have to do that but it was greatly appreciated well are we ready Let's do it, man. Let's let's get into this box. All right, let's do this. I've got them turned upside down. Jack, I followed your instructions. I've got your note. I don't know. Do you want me to read that, or is that just for me, or what? I don't even remember what I wrote, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Well, I tell you what. I'm going to read it. <laughs> do it. Do uh, it. It says, Jim, uh, sorry about the delay in getting this uh, tribute box to you. Uh, there are stories to be told. Don't worry, buddy. I know all that. Uh, thank you for your amazing generosity. Although we do not know Chris, we were both moved by the outpouring of love and kindness by our comic community. God bless you and Matthew for all you do. Thanks, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Awesome, Jack. Wow. Hey, and really quick before you keep going, shout out to uh, Comic for All People. We love you, brother. Yeah, He's thank you. Yeah, see, Fat. Hang in there, buddy. All right. Let's do it. And without further ado, let's see what we got here. First book. Oh, Tell me wow. if you can see that okay, Matt. Yes, we're going to make you big. It's all about you right now. Here we go. All nice. right. First book. What if the invisible girl had died? Now, I'm going to tell you guys, there's a lot of books here. So I'm going to go through these pretty quickly. But as I've told Matt and Jack, I do reserve the right, since I haven't seen them yet, to freak out about anything that blows my mind. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Next, you got another what if. What if Submariner had saved Atlantis from its destiny? It is your destiny. I see we've got a what if series going on here. What if Doctor Strange had not become master of the mystic arts? 
curious to see what that's all about. Maybe it's Brother Voodoo. <laughs> what if Thor battled Conan the Barbarian? I believe this is from the second series of, uh, of What If books that we're coming up with right now. What if Daredevil... It just says, what if Daredevil and Captain America? Doesn't say what if what. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with my feed here, but it keeps kicking me out. Oh, that's not good. That's all right. What if Beast continued to mutate? Ooh, I never see that one. That looks crazy. Yeah, I've never seen that before either. What if the Fantastic Four had not gained their powers? Oh, man. Ah, this I'm happy about. What if Electra had lived? Oh, yeah, that's a great one. That shadow of the phone's going to drive me crazy. I hope that doesn't <laughs> bleep everybody's busy too bad. Hey, if we need to take a moment and move things around, always feel free, but we're good to go, man. All right. Yeah, this is a makeshift setup, guys, so sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Another one that says what if, but it doesn't say what if what. Other than over in the corner, here's says, stop, don't buy this issue. Well, too late. I got that one recently as an A-OK. -okay. That's a good one. Oh, OK. Let me move this over. Okay. Then we have, what if Dazzler had become the Herald of Galactus? And what if Iron Man was trapped in the time of King Arthur? Ooh, nice. A lot. What if the Avengers had become pawns of Korvac? Man, you see, there's a Ooh, pattern here, like right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, clearly. Ooh, that's a good one. What if Wolverine had killed the Hulk? That's cool. Eat that. <laughs> what if Spider-Man's clone lived? Ooh. Oh wow, this is interesting. What if Avengers had killed everyone? <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Hey, great man. What if Daredevil had become an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Mm. What if Captain America had been elected president? That would have been great. <laughs> don't get me started. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what if Phoenix had not died? Ooh. Oh, I'm going to try this up just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a little bit better. Hold on, let me tilt it. All right. Next book. Yeah, these are cool, Tim. What if Thor and the Avengers battled the gods? Wow. Move some of these out. Oh, wow. What if Spider-Man had rescued Gwen Stacy? Mm. Jim, what number are you on? What issue number on that? Uh, that's issue number 24. Okay. But I believe that this one's from the first series. Those other, I, I think, were from the second What If series. Have you heard about the, uh, the Mexican version of um, the Gwen Stacy uh, story? Have you guys heard about that? No. So in Mexico, oh, what? in Mexico, they didn't. Want, they were printing out the Amazing Spider-Man storyline in the comics, and when she died, they did not want to have a death in the comics. So they actually switched oh. it up where she stayed alive, and from that point on, the comics are completely different in Mexico, and they're actually you know these alternative versions. Oh, wow. of when Stacy's still alive, wow. yep. I, I would have preferred That's that. That's gonna take a lot of effort. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's people are hunting them down now. Um, and looking for them because it's there's some great stories in there with her still alive, you know. Yeah, it's crazy. Huh. All right, let's see. What if the Hulk had become a barbarian? Ooh. <laughs> what if Doctor Doom had become a hero? Nice. Mephisto. Oh, this is interesting. What if Invisible Girl of Fantastic Four married Submariner? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Reed, man. <laughs> what if the Kree Skull War... Oh, oh, what if the Avengers fought the Kree Skull War without Rick Jones? 
Oof. Uh, Let's see. What if Doctor Strange were a disciple of Dormammu? Oh, I love Dormammu. It looks so cool there. What if Spider-Man had never become a crime fighter? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Looks like Infinity Gems back there. Kind of weird. I used to have this once upon a time. What if Ghost Rider, Spider Woman, and Captain Marvel were villains? Ooh, that would not be good. Oh, and that's the classic Marvel, Captain Marvel. Yep. What if Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, fought on the side of Fu Manchu? What do you think about that, Roger? What if Nova had been four other people? <laughs> That's different. I don't know which four because there's a lot of people on there. Yep. What's up, Johnny? Right. Hold on. Let me open. And believe me when I tell you guys, we're just getting started. <laughs> well, Jim, can, can I tell them why it's what if? That sure, it's not just random. Man. So sure. once, once Jim um, generously bought this um, tribute box, I contacted him and wanted to know, okay, give me some more ideas of things you're looking at and want to collect. And he said the original What If series. So that's not just randomly stuck in there. I don't think there's anything randomly stuck in there. Although I can't remember what I stuck in there, so there could be randomly stuck in there things. Yep. You never know. Yeah, that's what I love about Jack's box, uh, Jack's boxes is that you you detail them for whoever you are selling them to. You know, I thought that was pretty neat. Right. Yeah, very cool. All uh, right. We so have, what if Conan had walked the earth today? Oh, wow. I used to have this when I was younger, yeah. too. What if Rick Jones had become the Hulk? I probably still have it, but I'm sure this copy is in better condition. Uh, what if the original Marvel bullpen had become the Fantastic Four? Stanley, Jack okay. Kirby. <laughs> Look at Stanley, Reed Richards. That's different. <laughs> That's really different. All right. Oh, this is funny. What if Jane Foster had found the the Hammer of Thor? And the funny go. thing about that is two days ago, I just lost out on an auction to buy it. There you go. <laughs> now I don't have to. Wow. I, I noticed that we're going 12, 11, 10. Look at this. Look at this pattern. Yeah, I just noticed that too. <laughs> Another one I used to have back in the day. I love this because I love Golden Age uh, characters. What if the Avengers had fought evil during the 1950s? Wow. With Marvel Boy, 3D Man, Venus, and the Human Robot. Yeah. That's right up my alley. You know, Unruly Simeon just said, notice how a lot of these what ifs actually came to pass. And then, yeah. you, and then you pull out the Thor Jane Foster. I mean, yep. he's so right. Absolutely. Um, what if the world knew that Daredevil was blind? Oof. And I got a feeling we're going all the way with this, guys. <laughs> what if someone else besides Spider-Man had been bitten by the radioactive spider? That's number seven. I wish I was bitten by it. <laughs> <laughs> what if the Fantastic Four had different superpowers? That's number six. Wow. Wow. What if Captain America hadn't vanished during World War II? That's number five. What if the invaders had stayed together after World War II? Number four. You used to love that series. Oh, I love the invaders. Again, Golden Age style heroes brought to modern comics. I love it. That's awesome. What if the Avengers had never been? What if number three? Man, these covers are awesome. Oh, absolutely. What if the Hulk had the brain of Bruce Banner? <laughs> There's another one. Yep, that's right. That's and it. yes, indeed. 
Oh, here he comes. Numero uno. What if Spider-Man had joined the Fantastic Four? Fantastic Five. Wow, Jack. Wow. And the biggest wow factor about that is that we're only a third of the way through. <laughs> <laughs> so what issue numbers did you get? One through what? I got one through, hold on a second. Let me see here. And that's the first series, Reach too. Behind. So this is all first series, what if? This is crazy. That oh, it is? These, man. I believe it's I all know first series, it's yeah. One wow. uh, it's one through 42. Ooh. Ah, hey, Dave Maris, thanks for stopping in. Tim, the com uh, Canadian Comic Hunter. So that's wow. 40 comics just there. All what if. Now I'm opening. Now this came in two boxes. What you guys just saw is wow. the smaller of the two boxes. Still have another box to go that's twice the size. All right. You ready to keep going? Oh, that, that my God. Jim, that one's full of bubble wrap. Sorry. Yeah. Um, okay, I have one question, Jack, real quick, because I just saw one comic book. Yeah. Is oh, there any particular order? Should I be going from top to bottom or bottom to top? Does I, I it matter? Think, I don't think it matters. Just don't open the inner cardboard box. There's a there's a uh, oh a Gemini, I guess you call it inside, there, right? Yeah, All set right, that one right for last, please. Okay. And then there's Let something in the very movie. bottom too, but you can do that at any time. That final thing, the very bottom. All right. Okay. Hold on. Bear with me and try and mess with this camera again. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. No worries. Well, I started at the bottom of this next box, and right away I was like, "Wait a second. X Men number thirty-nine. Oh my goodness! I should have won this box. <laughs> <laughs> and and maybe you see what else is in there, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Extra number thirty-eight. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is amazing. Dang, I love these books. X Men number thirty-seven. Oh my goodness! <sighs> oh no, this can't be happening. Thirty-six. Listen, I just want to cut you off here and tell you that it doesn't go down to one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know what? That's probably a good thing because I don't know if my heart could handle that. Uh, right? I don't know if all of ours could handle that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Iron Man number 10. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. And, oh, my God. That looks like it's in pretty nice condition, too. Oh, my Lord. Iron Man number nine. Love that cover. Let me see if I can do. Oh, that's a little bit better. Hold on a second, guys. I'm trying to adjust this to camera nonsense. That is a gorgeous cover. Wow. There we go. It's a little bit better. Iron Man number eight. Goodness. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Iron Man number seven. Oh, man. <sighs> That's your new cosplay outfit right there. <laughs> Iron Man number six. <laughs> wow. Iron Man number five. Dang, this is crazy. That's right, Russ. Absolute Ooh, Okay. Oh, good. I need to take a breath there. Okay. <laughs> in humans and Black Widow number six. Ooh, nice. I love being humans. Think they're overlooked. Can't wait for them to start showing up in the MCU. Not like that terrible television show they had on ABC. In humans and Black Widow number five. In humans and Black Widow number four. Oh man. In humans and Black Widow number three. Number two of Inhumans and the Black Widow. 
My goodness. And, yep. Inhumans and the Black Widow, number one. Wow, man. Wow. Okay. Oh, and this is cool. Covering them up. I might as well show you guys this. Oh, I love those stickers. It's look at that punch. And they're not stuck on there. They're inside. Notice so they're good all Marvel. Oh, I think I wrote the name Marvel on there, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Yes. <laughs> like I had to do that for Jim. <laughs> Backseat driver and yeah, unruly Simeon say. Backseat driver and unruly Simeon say, call it right now, best mystery box ever. <laughs> 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 and Metarog's drooling. Yeah, me too, man. And before we get to the next, before we get to the next set of comics, this was on top of the next stack. All righty then. So yep. I guess we know where this is going. Yep. It's awesome. Let's see. Uh, what number? First book, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, number eighty-five. Oh my see, goodness. Uh, there we go. <laughs> the drug issue. I just, you know what? I got to tell you, that's a problem presenting these books. Do you know I just realized what that is? Yeah, man, that, that's, that's a big time right there. Tim. I sit yeah. it in front of everybody, and even I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yep. All right. Wow. Justice League of America, number 31. Oh, look at that. And that's my, other than the Justice Society, that's my favorite team. Giant Justice League of America, number 85. Wow. Finger Justice punch. League of America, number 84. Oh. Now, see, for me, this is a dream come true. Justice League of America, number 83. One of the early crossovers with the uh, Justice Society. Wow. Yeah, Magic Lasso, seriously. Justice League of America, number 82. A life journey. More that's totally right. Sorry, keep going. Justice League. Oh, sure. Justice League of America, number 81. Oh, my goodness. I had to oh, put away there. Hopelessly insane. Justice League of America number 80. Gosh, man. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Wow. Batman number 208. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Sorry, that was uh, that was something. That <laughs> Batman <laughs> number two oh seven. <laughs> Look at that cover. And oh. yes, Batman is my favorite character. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Batman oh number two oh four. Now that's a beautiful black cover right there. Wow. Oh wow, this is thick. Uh Batman number two oh three. Wow. And Batman number 202. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, wow. You're not kidding. Now, there's more stuff in here. So, and I didn't unwrap this other stuff. Hold on. While, while you're doing that, we got a little guest in the background. She came by to say hello. So I'm going to sure. pull back and bring her in. Hey, Jay. Yo. What's up? <laughs> What's that? Gosh, such great books already. Ah, the giver of my Hot Wheels mobiles. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Good, Jojo. How great. are you? What's going on? Awesome. It's oh, Jack. I uh, I did unbox the box you sent me. It was oh. awesome. What'd you think? Loved it. This one was my favorite one. Awesome. Ooh, let's make that big. Yeah, that's that's a great cover, isn't it? Oh, wow. yeah, gorgeous. Thank you so much. Oh, for that's cool. Well, thank you for helping thank support you. feed the children. I love that charity. Yeah, you put a lot of extras in there too. So thank you, thank You're you. Welcome. 
Thank you. Jojo, did you make a video? Yeah, it was uh, one of my last live. Yeah. I missed it. I'm sorry. Huh? I'll, go, I'll go back and watch it because I want to see it. Yeah. I was on the rewind. Whew. What do you think so far Amazing. about mystery box? What'd you say? What do you think so far about this mystery box? Oh, it's awesome. Like, a lot of old goodies. See those Batman keys right now at the end? What's that? Did you see those yeah, Batman keys right now at the end? I, sorry, I couldn't hear. Okay. Do you see those Batman keys right now at the end? Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I was trying to, like, get my camera to work, too, at the same time. So it's like, I think I missed a couple, but. Oh, it's so good. So, Jim, I think there's something in the bottom of the box, something large. I'm looking at that right now. And I'm going to put that up first because of what the other one says. All right. I'm going to make you big again. But this is crazy. I don't know if this will fit back here. Let me back this camera up. I don't know if people know what this is. Marvel year by year, a visual chronicle. Oh. And guys, this thing is a beast. Yeah. <laughs> That is thick. It's huge. I have to be honest, I've never seen this before. But that's amazing. Uh, Comic right. Man Andy's asking if we can drop JoJo and Phantom's um, link in the chat. Can my uh, moderators do that? Thanks, guys. So, so, Jim, the only thing left is the the, the last inner box, right? Yes, this box is. Please open this last. Yep. This is, <laughs> this, is the, this is the last of the of the of the box. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. All right. Go with the earliest number first, Jim, if you would. Well, I can't tell. They're back to back. Oh well, who packed them like that? Oh, well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to look. Uh, all right, I glance at the number. Oh wow! I'm not even gonna say anything. Oh! <laughs> Dang! Oh snap! <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man number one twenty-one. Oh my goodness! And guys, if you thought that was something, check this out. Oh my goodness. Amazing Spider Man number 31. Oh my goodness. Holy smoke. Jack, thank you. Jim, you're very welcome. I'm I'm pleased that you are happy with the box. I I you know, I threw in the first appearance of Gwen Stacy during the auction. It kind of like a impulse thing. Yeah. And then when you won it, yeah. I thought what would be better to pair with the first appearance of Gwen than the death of Gwen? Oh, goodness. That's just incredible. Wow. And then uh, if you look on the back of the death of Gwen, there should be something yeah. I taped on there. Oh. <laughs> Can you show oh, the yeah. camera this? This is, this is the story I told you about. Oh, wow. So I ordered this specifically for Jim. And when ah, I unwrapped yes. it, it Gosh. fell apart in my hands. The slab literally fell apart in my hands. And wow. I was thinking, this is just hilarious. I couldn't believe it. So Thanks, Jim's, not, Jim's not a big slab guy anyway. So here you go, Jim. No slab. I was just about to say, this is why the slab fell apart in your hands. <laughs> Though I do have slabs, <laughs> most of my stuff I collect, I want to be able to read. I hear so you, I, hear I don't. You. Usually slab my comic books. And had I gotten this slab, I probably would have taken it out anyway. <laughs> it was meant to be. Looks like I'm the odd man out. <laughs> <laughs> I still like slabs. I just I just like handling my books, though. I don't know. I like flipping yeah. through them, smelling them. <laughs> Matt, you could join us by unslabbing that 129 you have. Back there. Ah! <laughs> I can't because it's not my book. <laughs> Smart man. Smart man. You know what's kind of crazy? This Spider Man issue right here is one of the first comic books that I 
bought when I was a you know when I was a youngster that turned me on to Spider Man in the first place. So it kind of brings comic collecting for me full circle to get this now again. Man, that's good. That's incredible. Good. Gosh, I, I I figured it would hit a core strike a chord with you, Jim, because you and I are about the same age, and right, you know, we kind of grew up in the early Bronze Age <laughs> of comics, and uh, the the hours I spent reading Spider Man, uh, I even dove through a plate glass door when I was a young kid yelling out Spider-Man and my mom and dad were not impressed, but, uh, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I, you know, as an excuse, I was young. I was only 25. Um, no, I think I was about seven. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, wow. I, I remember, I remember my first crush, uh, was Gwen Stacy, you know, comic nerds. We, we can say things amongst each other that the normal people would think I'm an idiot, but oh, yeah, yeah. you know, I had a crush on Gwen Stacy. I was heartbroken when she died, had a crush on Jean gray was really heartbroken when she died. Mine but, was rogue X-Men cartoon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And I know what you mean, Jack, because when they killed off Gwen Stacy, I was shocked and devastated. Mm. Yeah. For the exact same reason, like, wait a minute, what are you doing? Yeah. You know what's crazy is that I got into Spider-Man when I was a little kid, but I started reading Spider-Man when Mary Jane was the big thing. And it took me years to figure out that there was even a Gwen Stacy. You know, because oh geez. I, born in the I mean born in the eighties. I grew yeah. up in the 90s, you know, I was reading all about MJ. That's the girl. And then all of a sudden, same like, who's Gwen Stacy they're talking about? Mm -hmm. And then it ripped my heart out. <laughs> so you were talking um, yeah, now earlier. I officially feel old <laughs> what were you saying uh, Jojo? you were talking about the Mexican storyline right yeah, where yeah. she is actually is she still alive though like now I, I don't I know wonder. for sure because I haven't like followed it enough or done enough history Metarog mm -hmm. may know because he was mentioning some stuff if he's still in sure. here but uh, they didn't yeah that's her. interesting they didn't kill her off so it's like an alternate oh, universe. Yeah, it's it's, and I I was I'm always wondering like who actually wrote it then, you know? Yeah, who was doing the work, and did they have permission from Marvel or like what was happening with that, you know? That's weird. So, yeah, but man, let's see if Metarox and here. imagine the extra work of having to do two completely different versions of the same comic book for its entire run after that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Wow, what a mystery box. That's awesome, guys. Wow. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you again, Jack, man. This is uh, amazing. Jim, you're more than welcome. Thank you for that amazing donation. So, yeah, well, Compton that's not says, a problem. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you guys off. Ben Compton says when Gwen Stacy died in the Mexican comic books, it was a dream that he had had. That's oh, wow. Oh, wow. Kind of like the old so, Dallas TV series. Right? Yeah. Oh. Hey, so, so I don't say right, Matt. You know what Dallas is. <laughs> okay, I know things. But maybe I didn't grow up watching things, all right? But I know things. <laughs> I, 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 did, I did do all right in trivia night the other day, okay? <laughs> all right, then, Matt. Who killed JR? Who shot JR? <laughs> Look at this guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, we're showing our age here. <laughs> yeah, believe me, I know. <laughs> hey, um, Comic Phantom, do you want to run through um, the books again so we can just, you know, I, I want to see everything again one more time if you can. Sure, of course. Is that cool? Back, I'll give me a chance to see if I can't back this camera up a little bit more and make it easier for everybody to see. Yeah, that'd be fun. I mean, if Metarog's still here, if Chris is here, or Mike, you guys can hop into and, and hang out with us. Ugh, come on. Ugh. Okay, turn this thing and turn it up. Nope. Prior. CFAP. Congrats, Phantom. So, I don't know how you guys do this. This is a lot of work. <laughs> You know, I when I first started YouTube, I would I would do exactly what you're doing, man. I would like face my camera and then just show my books. 
And it got to be a lot yeah. of work. I'm like, I'm just going to show my face now. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm afraid to scare yeah, people. Well, it's I've okay. A, no worries. <laughs> <radio. laughs> Jojo and I will, will make things beautiful, right? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, you know, I may eventually do that, but the real reason that I don't, um, I'm, I'm kind of a private person. Yeah, and I right. know several, I've made several friends with people on YouTube and all it took was one story from one of them telling me, oh, I was in the supermarket the other day and someone came up to me, oh my God, you're so-and-so from that channel. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, I, I've had that happen. I walked home one day and my kids wrote, the boy who had seven's home. Felt That's like funny. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of the same way, except instead of, you know, kind of so a private would, person, I'm kind of an ugly person. Oh, so we no. try to we try to keep that mug off there. Uh, uh, no, plus, no. I, I work for a school system. You can imagine what would happen if uh, 1,500 kids saw me on YouTube. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think hey, there are a couple. Of and, <laughs> and see, like I said. That I'm just private. I don't have Jack's other problem. I'm perfectly pretty to look at. But, <laughs> you know. There you go. There you go. Let's go. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. All right. Let's see. I'm just going to just go through these real quick. Let's do it. And I am. This camera's going to drive me insane. <laughs> Man, those All are, right. That's those better. Are pretty. Yeah, they look All like right. in great condition. What's up, C. Wood, Mr. Gorel? Oh, I love the. I'm actually a big Inhumans fan. I just, I hope they yeah. one day can do them right. I just, I'm such a big. Oh, fan I of hope so too. The the bronze and silver age is just where it's at for me. It's, you know, and and I have a little bit of modern stuff and some Absolutely. variants, but uh, this is the stuff that uh, I love doing mystery boxes with bronze and silver. I love collecting them. You know, and and because this is my childhood, yeah. You know, at least the bronze, uh, silver, not so much, but uh, the bronze for sure. Man, if they ever would do the World War Hulk storyline in the MCU, I would love to see the Hulk versus uh, Black Bolt on the Moon. That's such oh. a, such a great battle. Black Bolt done right would be fantastic. Oh yeah. I love Medusa too. I mean, uh, they're they're great. They just need to do them right. Wasn't Vin yep, Diesel right going to be Black that. Bolt? I don't know. I, I I don't remember hearing that one. I heard that, but I Wait, you said Vin that. Diesel? No. Yeah. No, not that. <laughs> no, I think Could Matt said if they, they do them right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> How was Bloodshot? I never watched that. I, I watched it and I, I was a bit disappointed. Mm. It was. Ooh, look at these X-Men books. Oh my goodness. Look at those colors. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. a little mixed up here. I had to catch them from falling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you caught them. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh yeah, look at that. I love the blue. Look at that blue. Yeah. Oh goodness. Those old X-Men and Fantastic Four, like yep. those colors just pop. Yeah. And they oh, just yeah. they get they get harder and harder to find and and really excellent condition. I mean, I can find them all day long and good or very good, but man, it's getting just tough to find them in uh, higher grades, especially without paying. Oh, and as a quick, grades. as a quick public service announcement, no yeah. CFAP, you can't have these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is CFAP on the chat? Yeah. Oh, he, 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 I he think he was a little earlier. Yeah. Okay. Hey JRK, what did a uh, comment? I know X Men is his. Yeah, X Men is his jam. Uh, X Men's a great jam. Oof. Yeah, he's here. There he is. C -Fap. Hey C Fab. I love that cover right there. Hey C Fab. C Fab, get well soon, brother. I love this comic personally. Oh yeah, and thank you, Jack, for getting that to me before I bought it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you should thank the people that outbid you, man. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> well, what's up, two bros? And it, 
Yeah, it was just uh, Saturday night, I think it was, on Comic Head 84's auction. <laughs> oh, that issue number 10? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I was going to buy it, and I got outbid for it. And I, That's right, JoJo, you were in there. Yeah, I was in there. They have, they have some awesome auctions on uh, yeah, I, Comic Head. Yeah, I purchased some really nice Silver Age Daredevil from uh, Comic Head 84. Really uh, nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Class Whoops, act. Sorry about that. Hit the camera. What if Phoenix had not died? We'd all be dead now. <laughs> this is a trip. Wishful thinking. What if Captain America had been elected president? He's like the perfect guy for that, man. Too bad he's fiction. Yeah, no kidding. What if Daredevil had become an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D.? That ended up becoming a Wolverine run, wasn't it? Wolverine Agent of Shield. Uh, yeah, it was half run because I think the first half he was uh, an agent of the Hand, and then the second right. half it's like his redemption story where he's the uh, Agent of Shield. Yeah. Wow, it's amazing. I guess too. What if Wolverine had killed the Hulk? It's always a oh, good one. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Super cool. This is crazy. Yeah, I Galactus. I cannot wait to see him in the MCU. Oh, absolutely. You mean that giant cloud in Fantastic Four wasn't good enough for you? Oh, <laughs> Just as bad as the giant cloud in the Green Lantern movie. Oh. Come on. Hold on. Still going. That's a cool Yo, one. Death of Electra was tough, too. That was, that was rough. Yeah, that's, whoops. I Tom, like this too because I remember Rick Jones. Rick Jones said, "What if he had become the Hulk?" Yeah, Rick Jones is the cause of all of Bruce Banner's uh, misfortune. <laughs> oh, he's got a storied Marvel history. Yeah, he does. Starting off with the original Marvel Captain Marvel. Oh yeah. I like that cape he's wearing. Or Mamu. Cool. Or Mamu, I've come to bargain. Yes. And I'll tell you, when it comes to Captain Marvel, I refuse to accept <laughs> Shazam. <laughs> he is the original OG Captain Marvel, period, end of story. Shazam is a magic word, not a character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I like that. What if Doom had become a hero? This is insane. In the membrane. I love that. What if Spider-Man had rescued Gwen Stacy? Or it was just all a dream. Roger's back. Hey, Roger, um, do you have any idea how, how long, like, is Gwen Stacy still alive in those or as far as the Mexican comics went? Did she stay alive? Marvel is my jam, says Kachung. Yeah, there you go. That looks crazy. Which one? That one? Yeah, I mean, look at look at what he would turn, mutate into, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't see that before. I just saw the beast portion. It says, what if the beast and the thing continued to mutate? I mean, oh. one ugly looking thing. Yep. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Moon. And this one's kind of strange. I wonder what it's all about just because it doesn't say anything other than what if featuring Daredevil and Captain America. Can we just appreciate the black right now? It's so yes. clean. Yes, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Way to go, Jack B. Uh... With the quality. Oh, yeah, that's the beautiful thing about a lot. Most of these, they're in such great shape. Yeah, that's what I noticed with my box, too. Like, everything was very, very nice looking. Yeah. 
I really oh, tried to get quality in those boxes. It's, yeah. It takes me probably to do a mystery box takes me two to three hours to put one together. Super. Now Jim's took longer, but uh, his is special. That's actually not bad considering everything that's in here. Oh yeah. You guys a Submariner or an Aquaman fan? Aqua who? Kind of both. <laughs> I beg your pardon, Jack. <laughs> I'm an Aquaman fan. Yeah, that's, that's I my Aquaman. Yeah. I, I, my mind goes I back to the, the old Twisted Toy Fair Theater with uh, the Aquaman doll, the Mego figure. And, uh, you know, the superpower was he could talk to fish. You know, that was uh, <laughs> poor guy. Poor guy. It was, yeah, if you never see those old toy fairs, they were they were hilarious at Twisted Toy Fair Theater, Twisted Amigo Theater. You got I always really noticed that Submariner has the girly eyebrows for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, you got better. Are you okay over right. there, Matt? You're hurting your face. <laughs> I'm trying to bust the rock, okay? I'm trying to get that eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't girly, but oh. <laughs> no, yeah, he he does have some weird shaped eyebrows. Oh, those are cool, and you love this stuff, yeah. don't you? Like, isn't this stuff that you oh personally love to collect? Comic I love the Justice League, yeah. and this all of this Justice League stuff goes further back than what I have, Ooh. so that's just fantastic. Jack B's doing it right. That's right. Well, Steve. you know, and that's again, this is a special box, but look that's at that. Boom, it's, shakalaka. One of the things I love to do with mystery boxes, the charity mystery boxes, is use that Google form, let let the yeah. buyer kind of say, hey, this is what I would like to see. And then it's based on my inventory, of course, um, trying to get as many of their wants in there. I mean, that takes some of the mystery out of it. Not all of it. You still don't know what you're going to get, but yeah. Yeah. chances are it's going to be in your wheelhouse instead of like, you know, some of these mystery boxes I've purchased over the years, it's just like, Kind of leave me wanting for more, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No question. I was satisfied with mine for sure. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Public That's apology. Yeah, you never have to worry with Jack if you're getting your money's worth. <laughs> I've had a lot of people call me out for the price that I put on Jack's box in my video. So <laughs> I guess it's time for a public apology. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I love him, though. I love both boxes I got, and I would get them again. You gave yeah. it an A plus, Matt. And as a uh, former high school teacher, when I get an A plus, I'm happy. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure, A pluses, man. <laughs> hey, Phantom C Fab says we've got a lot to talk about, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> hey, Tim, it's good to see you, man. Thank you for stopping in. <laughs> oh Lord. I'm really excited about the Black Widow uh, movie. I really am. Me too. I cannot wait till I can go back to a theater and check it out. Yeah. Man Who knows how long that? Sorry, go ahead, comment, Phantom. All I said is, who knows how long that'll be? Yeah. It's amazing to think that when I was in high school, we had to hide our comics from our friends because of the embarrassment that we would, the, the persecution we would suffer if they knew we were fans of comic books and uh, look at the billions and billions, the entertainment industry has made off of the movies. No. And, uh, you yes. know, by the time I was in, in grade right. school, if you didn't like Batman or the X-Men, you, you were the weird one, you know? Yeah. Yep. It's yeah. funny when I, yeah. when I was teaching high school, um, one of my students walked in and he had a, a floating heads t-shirt on. Oh, so about 12 different characters. And I looked at, you know, I always like to talk smack with my students anyways, just to have fun with them. And I asked this young man, I said, are you a poser? He says, what do you mean, Mr. B? I said, are you a poser? Yeah. What do you mean, Mr. B? I said, name those floating heads on your shirt. You got two of the 12 right. Oh, they said, oh you're man. a poser. Go to go have a seat. <laughs> you get a seat. Wow. Right <laughs> yeah. I, of course, you know, ripped off every name. And I told the kid, I said, you need to go learn some uh, history here, buddy. Right. <laughs> You're going to wear the shirt. You better know the shirt. <laughs> my daughter, my daughter, um, she loves music and she, she has just an amazing plethora of different bands and artists that she listens to, you know? 
And so she, she, I get her lots of band shirts. So she'll wear like a Johnny Cash shirt, and then people come up to her like, "You're a poser." She's like, "She's like, I can play 15 of his songs on the guitar. Get over it, you know." Uh, no, so she can answer the opposite <laughs> way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but yeah, it's just, that's funny. Yeah, it, it's hey, that it, is fun. It, it it's it's funny that sometimes it's you, the kids that have parents that still listen to the the classic stuff, the classic mm. country, the classic rock. Yeah. Um. I used to play classic rock in my programming classes and uh, I will never forget till the day I die. The, the day I played Jimi Hendrix and not one student knew who Jimi Hendrix was. Oh, that's going to hurt. And oh. I was sitting at my desk sobbing. <laughs> thinking, How do you not know who Jimi Hendrix is or was? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, oh. We, we keep the classics alive in this house, man. Yeah. So. It's kind of like if somebody would tell well, me you know what they, they don't know who Stan Lee was, that would just floor me. Say that again. Say that again, Jack. It'd be like somebody nowadays saying they don't know who Stan Lee was. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hurts. You you know what I find is pretty amazing? What? Um, It's something I have to give YouTube credit for. Unlike when we were younger, most of the kids these days know all the music we we grew up with because they're exposed to it on YouTube. Yeah. I see teenagers doing... um, music and video reactions to stuff I used to listen to in high school. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we were just having this conversation because (laughs) this is is what we do. I'll get my computer and I'll put on my iTunes and I'll start going through songs randomly. And I tell my kids, all right, all of you guys, first one to guess it um, gets a point. And then first one to five points wins 25 bucks, you know? So we, we sit around as like a family for like an hour and a half. And we'll just, I'll be going through my, my whole, um, collection of music and I'll just play a song and then they're like, ah, ah, like <laughs> each other, you know, and it's a lot of fun. It's a yeah. lot of fun. But I was talking about if, cool. Jackson, if Michael Jackson had the exposure and Twitter and YouTube back then, he would have even been. Oh, wow. He was, you know, it would have been insane numbers and, but it didn't exist. And, and he came in a perfect time for him as an artist. And he definitely um, influenced uh, everyone. <laughs> Yeah. My parents had a huge CD collection, so I would always be like digging through it and like discovering new things that were mm-hmm. old to them but new to me <laughs> in high school. Yeah. yeah. Is there something yeah. about, you know, like getting a CD out for me, you know, and because I remember when CDs first came out, I was really mm-hmm. little. Mm-hmm. But my dad comes home with a CD player, he's like, check this out. And we're like, whoa, that's so cool, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then, I mean, just so every time I get a CD and I, I use it, I, or I, I see it, you know, it's just like nostalgic for me, you know. Did you know that last year records outsold CDs for the first time in like 30 years? That's nuts. Yeah. Hey, uh, Comic Phantom and what Jack B. Old is new again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's Batman. CFAP says, this makes me want to cut my pull list and just buy Jack B boxes every month. (laughs) (laughs) You can do it. (laughs) I actually have another one on the way. Yes, you do. Oh, my goodness. Just can't get enough, huh? Yeah. Jim uh, Jim has the final box of this round of uh, charity mystery boxes. And I'm I'm pretty – pretty pleased to say that I think we're going to hit um, a total of a thousand dollars donated to feed the children wow. in, the month of, in the month of May, which is pretty cool. Yeah, um, fantastic. There are a lot of families wow. struggling right now to, to yeah. feed themselves. That, Perfect mm-hmm. timing, man. That, uh, that it's a, it's a, you know, and, and that's why I love doing it. It's two things that I love. You know, I love comic books and I love helping people. And, and obviously our community loves doing the same thing as is evidence here. Right. And mm-hmm. we've seen it over yes. and over again in this community. Lots yeah. of givers, lots yeah. of givers. As soon as you um, have more boxes, let me know, okay? Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I know you sold out. And stopped taking orders, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm working on. I'm working on a new one. I I might do my first ever chase. Um, I'm yeah. thinking about calling oh. it a chase for charity. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And um, I'm thinking about doing it in July. Here, so I'm kind of planning it right now. I was going to do a box in June, but it's going to take me some time. And it, yeah, I, I don't want to give too much away just in case, but it'll be limited, probably 20 boxes. Um, so um, I'm looking forward to that, man. That's going to be cool. Yeah, it's exciting. 
Uh, Mike, the comic click track di asks, did I miss the big box? Um, he's kind of just going over them again, Mike. Um, he, we went through it once and now he's just kind of showing everything again. There's some, there's some, yep. there's nothing bad in there. All bangers. Amazing. And, uh, I think with like four books, he got the price he paid and then there's a whole bunch more. <laughs> oh yeah. It's crazy. <sighs> Wow. Crazy you know, I, I, I try to make all my boxes special. This one was extra special um, in uh, memory of uh, Chris, you know, for those of you who knew him. I mean, he sounds like he was just an amazing guy, guy that would be uh, somebody I'd really get along well with. You know, it's not like everybody got along well with him. Yeah. And uh, I want to make sure I put a box together to do his memory proud. Awesome. Awesome. Let's keep yeah, whipping. That's awesome. Talk. Thank you. <sighs> Cannot believe you. you. It was an amazing gesture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and I, I'll admit, I told this to Matt and I told it to Jack as well. I never had any intention of spending this much money on that box, but I got caught up in the emotion of what everybody was doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I got to a certain point when I thought about what it was for, I just said, you know what, the heck with it. I'm just going to buy it regardless of what happens. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I was, I was surprised that it <laughs> continued to climb. And at one point I thought I've got some work to do because, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going <laughs> to buy a mystery box and not give you more than you paid for it. I, yeah. I don't believe in doing that. You know, I want to make sure that you're going right. to, you're going to walk away thinking that was a mystery box. So I, I knew I had to pack this one, but it was exciting to see it crest a thousand dollars. I re I remember as we started bidding and getting started going higher and higher in my head, I'm like, Oh, Jack's freaking out right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No kidding. <laughs> Everyone was freaking out. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh my God. I wanted to keep going so bad. And the Sorry. wife looks over at me. She's like, chill, man. <laughs> 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 it, it was a lot of fun putting it together i mean jim and i have very similar tastes we're both a couple of old guys that have been collecting for decades i mean i started at the age of nine which was about 46 years ago wow. so uh we both love the old stuff and so i i knew it's a i knew it was a box that was right up my alley for sure that's awesome mm -hmm. <laughs> I started right at the same age too, but just a couple, you know, decades later. <laughs> <Me too>. <laughs> <laughs> just a couple. <laughs> Man, I'll, I'll tell you a little story real quick. Um, yeah. When my wife and I were dating, um, I wanted to name our our first boy Ben after Ben Grimm. Oh, cool! And oh, my, wow. my, son, my son's name is Justin right because I wanted to stay married. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah, Victor Von Doom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. My I, wife I wanted to name my son Goku. My for years. What's you know, that? I wanted to name my son Goku when I was like 14, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's like uh Kevin Smith's daughter, didn't he name her Harley? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. right. Oh, really? And then, uh, what was the other one? Um, Zelda was. Ooh, who's that? Oh, whose daughter was that? Um, I can't dun, think of it right now. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's awesome. <clears throat> Robin Williams. Yeah, that was Robin that was Williams, Williams' daughter. Cool. Oh, uh, great man. I was going to call my son Corthon. Corthon? <laughs> wow. I'm not laughing at something that's like for real. I'm sorry. <laughs> that one's going over my head, brother. <laughs> what up, Burke? <laughs> my firstborn will be Clark Kent. I love it. Super Russ. It, if you didn't name your firstborn Clark Kent, I'd be disappointed in you. <laughs> 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 that's actually a good name man that really is oh that she is harley cool. quinn smith wow yeah I, kevin smith seems like a really cool dude 
I know. know. Yeah, he does. I, I want to meet him one day. Yeah, no kidding. I love the fact he'll get on YouTube, he'll put on a video, and he'll break down and cry talking about things. Yeah, um, did you see the, where he was talking about his dog with Joe Rogan? No, I didn't see that, but I where he's talking about um, when Stan Lee was uh, doing a cameo and reading his script for, uh, uh, was it Chasing Amy or something like that on a bus? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that too. Yeah, and he started crying, and uh, and I think that's that's pretty cool. He's guy, the guy with a big heart. He seems you know? so genuine. Yeah, yeah. Quasar, Quasar, yeah. Is a great name. <laughs> Quasar, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Max? Thanks for stopping in. Of course, you know I, I I've had a lot of students named uh, Conan, so wow. three or four over the years. Really? Really? Mm -hmm. Yep. Huh. I I just met a kid named Norin. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Oh, yeah. I yeah. started calling him Silver Surfer. I'm like, I love Norman. <laughs> now you are the Silver Surfer. <laughs> What's up, Rob Boswell? Oh, man. We, we're just kind of filtering through the books as we're talking and hanging out. He got some amazing, yeah. amazing books, man. <laughs> yeah. If he has a – so Burke, he loves the Power Rangers, and he's saying – if he has a son, it's going to be Tommy Oliver Berkland. I like it. Nice. Oh, no way. Your niece's name is Bulma? That is the best thing ever. Yes. <laughs> yes. That is so cool. I wow. Love it. So my favorite character of all time is Vegeta, and his wife is Bulma. That is the coolest thing ever. I love, I love your niece's name. Middle name. What are some crazy names? What are some crazy names that you guys can think of it from from uh, from Marvel or DC or any comics? I, I know Quasar is pretty crazy. I can tell you, I'm never naming a kid T'Challa. <laughs> That's true, <laughs> T'Challa. Every you know, it'd be kind of cool though if all the kids that score like Wakanda forever, Wakanda forever, every single yeah. day. <laughs> that makes sense in Africa. <laughs> Rick Love Drake. the movie. Never naming a kid that, though. True. You know, I like the name Logan. I've seen a few Logans around. Yeah, too. Logan's cool. I, I know some Logans. Yeah, yeah Logan. I know Logan, too. Rick Grayson's actually kind of cool. My third, uh, if she was a boy, was going to be Ash after the Evil Dead Army of Darkness. <laughs> That's cool, man. Yeah. Just for a second, I thought you meant Ash Ketchum. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> Sorry, Pokemon. Got to throw it in there. Pokemon. My youngest son's name is Cody Hawk. Ooh, that's cool, man. That is pretty cool. Zatanna would be interesting, but I That'd could be see cool. That. I could see that. Yeah, Zatanna for sure. Swamp Thing is an odd name for a person. Yes, that would <laughs> that would be crazy. Magic Lasso. Swamp mm. Thing, come to the front of the class, please. <laughs> <laughs> Swamp Thing, your mom's looking for you. Swamp Thing, your mom's looking for you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys. God. Yes, yes. Just so you, just so you know, for some reason, either this outlet has gone bad or the extension cord is bad. So it's not charging the phone. Okay. So I'm only gonna be able to last a little while longer here before. The phone's going to die. Cool. Okay. Just you know give what, you a heads up. You know what would be cool, man? If you could uh, – because a couple people popped in. If you could pull out some, um, some of the bangers that you got, like the drug issue and the Spider-Man issue. Sure. Some of those X-Men, you can show those real quick. Of course. People have popped in. and I, Everything's – the Thor, Jane Foster. There's a lot of – nothing is bad in this box. It was all amazing, guys, all quality. But there definitely are some that stick out above the others. And uh, I'm serious. Like with four of them, you got you got your worth. So I mean, this is amazing. You be getting all excited. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's hard though. Some of this stuff. I mean, there's a lot of what, depending on your definition, there's a lot of bangers in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I don't know if there's not a book that's a banger, not a banger. You know what I mean? They're all amazing. Yeah. So well, of course, the, the two Spider-Man books. Um, Oh you know, yeah, I, I really I really enjoyed putting those in there because of the the history between those issues. I mean, there's a lot that happened between her first appearance and her death, um, and then the right. fact that it fell out of the slab. Now that I 
now that Jim's kind of told me he would have taken it out of the slab anyways, the fact that I pulled it out of the box and it literally crumbled out of a brand new slab. Crazy. And I thought, well, crazy. guess it's not going in a slab. <laughs> Somebody did the death. You know what? Hold on. I'm going to try a different outlet because sure. it's going fast. You know, self-destruct in one minute. Jim, this reminds me of the early Iron Man issues where every issue he was running out of juice and going to die. Yes. Every single issue. Yeah. <laughs> you got to plug into the outlet, Iron Man. Uh, it's charging. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with that other outlet. That may have, that may have taken care of it. Cool. Hold on. Now I think I can take my time because it was yeah. going to just I'm gonna take my fade time. into oblivion very quickly. I need Depeche Mode fans? <laughs> that I like. All the time in the world. What's up, Max? <laughs> Let's see. It's kind of fun. I'm, I'm going to – that would be kind of fun to think about some crazy names from comics to name your kids, you know? I It'd be, be cool, cool. to name your, name your son Blastar. That'd Blastar. Be cool. That's right. Early FF villain. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> FF, man. That, those are my favorite books. Yeah. Rachel. There's a lot of books here. Let's see. Annihilus. It's right there in front of us. There, there you go. <laughs> Annihilus to the office, please. Annihilus to the office. Annihilus. <laughs> there you go. Annihilating kids again. What's up, Tony? Oh, you know what? I Thor is a cool a name. Character. You ever seen yeah. a, a, kid, a young man named Thor? That's an awesome name. There's a YouTuber by the name of Thorsten. Oh, sorry. And uh, it's so cool. I always call him Thor. I think it means son of Thor. Yeah, I think so too. Drax. Yeah, Drax is a good one. Drax the Destroyer. And here we go. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll just call these the highlights. <laughs> Bing, bang, foom. Because I couldn't just pick. <laughs> what if Spider Man had rescued Gwen Stacy? What if Electra had lived? Which we know no one dies in comic books anyway. Here they come, Tony. The number one issue of Amazing Adventures, The Inhumans and Black Widow. Yeah. I like it if no one else does. What if Rick Jones had become the Hulk? Like it. X-Men number 36. Uh, that, that just like flutters Fire. me. Fire. What if number one, if Spider-Man had joined the Fantastic Four? Yep. Batman number 208. Man. Yeah. I got a Batman 200. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love those there. giants. Too. Those giants <laughs> right, <are> so right. <laughs> uh, Justice League number 83 with the crossover, one of the early crossovers with the Justice Society. Oh, X-Men number 37. Should have shown that after 38. Oh, yeah. Hey, Werewolf by Lunchtime. Iron Man number 9. Beautiful cover. Count Von Strange. What if Jane Foster found the Hammer of Thor? Wow. What if Wolverine had killed the Hulk? Headshot. The speedy drug issue. Dang, man. And of course, the death of Gwen Stacy. 7.5 white. And I guess this one. <laughs> <laughs> And the Dang. first appearance. Wow. Holy smokes. Way to go, Jack B. Wow. Thank you. Incredible. Again, it's it's an honor to uh, be part of the outpouring for Chris. I'm just uh, happy to be a part of it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. <sighs> Man, Thank wow. you for being a part of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. My yeah. Pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Comic Phantom. 
absolutely well, thank amazing. Thank you. Guys, we we had 50 watching at one point. We've dropped down to 28. We've gone through it a few times. I think we're going to call it. But I just want to say right. thank you to everybody in the chat that's hung out with us the whole time. Um, those that popped in real quick and uh, everybody was, you know, talking and chatting and having a good time together. We appreciate you guys for sure. So absolutely. But uh, yeah. before we take off any parting words, I'll give everyone a chance to go. Um, Jojo, you want to say anything? Uh, just a big thank you to Jack B for, you know, doing that and for Comic Phantom for purchasing it because it went to a really great cause. Sean was very appreciative yeah. of the whole auction. So, yeah, and, you know, he is doing, you know, he's still struggling, but he's yeah. doing well yeah. and he keeps, you know, reminding us that he's very appreciative. So, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you, Jojo. Jack B. Well, again, uh, it's an honor to play a small part. Um, I wish I'd met the man. I feel in some ways I have just through everybody's reaction. Um, again, it's, it's an honor just to have uh, played a small part in uh, the outpouring. And uh, hopefully that, you know, this, I, I don't doubt this community is going to continue to help those in need. It's a special, special community is what's attracted me to this community. Absolutely. First place. 100%. 100%. Thank you, Jack B. Comic Phantom? Well, uh, first of all, obviously, Matt, thanks for providing this forum so that we could do this for everybody. Yeah, Appreciate thanks, it. Yeah. From the auction itself all the way through this little presentation. Um, also... I still don't know. I have to think about this showing the face thing, but uh, I'm a, only a few weeks on from you seeing me a little bit more here on YouTube. Hey. Uh, yeah. I'm going to be joining some of the guys in the auction. And like I told you, Matt, I've got an idea for a, a little pre-recorded segment that I'm going to be doing that is going to be interesting. I'm going to be calling it a comic book community counterpoint. And it's going to take some of the traditional thoughts that we've gone here with, like the way we, that I told you, Matt, like the way we value mystery boxes and challenge some of those theories. I got some different takes on some of that stuff. Cool. And nice. it's not to call people out or criticize. It's actually in the hopes that people can look at things from a couple of different viewpoints and maybe take some different perspectives on the way they approach some things going forward. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Great, great idea, man. Um, you know, we need more of that kind of stuff, you know, uh, especially done with in the right way. If you do it tastefully, you know, it'll right. make the comic community right. better. And I know, mm -hmm. I know for sure, Comic Phantom, you would do it the right way. So sounds awesome. Yeah. yeah. Sounds awesome. Yeah. We the only way you'll ever hear me shout anybody out is just give them something, you know, something positive. Yeah. You'll never hear me name anybody that, you know, I disagree with. I may bring up the point, but I won't bring up the name. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. I like the way that works, man. Mm -hmm. Keep it positive. <laughs> yeah. Well, other right than now, that. Yeah. That's it. No, I was just saying other than that, that's it. Um, despite plugging in the phone, it still looks like it's going to go in a minute or two. So I think it's time for me to be Audi. <laughs> All right. Well, Let's say bye to everyone then. Uh, we had some people at the very end pop in. I just want to say thank you for coming in. And that was Count Von Strange, Werewolf by Lunchtime, uh, Hero and the Kid, House Till the End, Malcolm, and BLC. Thank you guys for stopping in. The, the, the box was amazing. It was absolutely worth every penny and a whole bunch more. And what's even, what's even better than that, it was, an, it was an amazing time in the auction brought a lot of goodness, good feelings, and a good amount of money to help Sean out. And so huge thank you to Jack B, Comic Phantom. Thank you, JoJo and Mike, for putting that all together. And thank you, everybody who participated. We love the heck out of every single one of you guys. So uh, we're done here for the day. Uh, if you want to see the box, check it out on the Rewind. And again, thanks for being here, guys.